This is your side line, inner and outer thigh sculpt. You're gonna feel a true burn in those thighs. I'm Action Jacqueline. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I'm gonna be using a one pound ankle weight. If this is your first time doing this workout, don't use anything at all, and then add the weight when you come back again. Okay, let's get into the workout. Let's start on our side. The bottom leg is bent, and we're gonna start on our right leg. We're just gonna tap down and up, tap and lift, that's it. So I want you to focus on your form here. We're gonna move nice and slow all the way through. And right now, we're really working those outer thighs, and then we'll get into the inner thighs. So we're doing 30 seconds on, five seconds off in between, and it's gonna be a really good burn. <laughs> all right, just tap and lift. Notice my foot is slightly flexed, so that we really get into those outer glutes here. Okay, little break. We're gonna tap forward and then tap side. Okay, just like that. Here we go. I want you to still focus on your core here. So it's really easy to kind of like let the whole body move around, but the whole upper body should stay nice and still, pull into the core. Hand can be down on the ground as well. That'll help bring some support into the exercise. All right, so now we're gonna come up all the way here and then you're gonna go into a little bicycle, reach forward, lift up as high as you can and then bicycle it forward. Okay, now we're gonna reverse that. So go up and around the other way, pull the knee in, and then extend side. Good, up and around. Feels like a good little stretch at the same time. And you can kinda just enjoy the beach with me here, listen to the waves, and get a good workout in all at the same time. Okay, we're gonna repeat those exercises all over again. I know you can do it though. Tap and lift. Whew. This is a good burner right here. Oh man. It's meant to challenge you. It's meant to build up that burn like that. This is where the muscle really changes. Okay, we're gonna tap forward and then tap side. So little tap forward, little tap side. Okay, let's take that big, big rainbow here and then pull the knee in, extend front, rainbow, and extend, good. This is a great workout for one of those days where you still wanna get a good burn, but maybe you're just kind of tired. Maybe it was a long day or you didn't sleep that well or something's going on, but you still wanna get into your body. This is a great workout. I love doing these kinds of workouts to just, you're still like relaxing in a way, being present with your body and then also still making some progress with those muscles, right? All right, let's reverse that. So you're gonna circle down, bend it in, and extend.
Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move onto the inner thighs. Stay on the right leg. Now we're gonna do our inner thigh exercises and then we'll do everything on the left side. So the first one is gonna be here. The foot's gonna be flat down on the ground and you're gonna take the right leg and you're just going to lift it up and lower down. Okay, so let's come all the way down to our side here and you're just gonna lift and lower. Now we're getting right into those inner thighs. Same intervals, so just keep following along. And here we go, lift and lower, lift and lower. Getting straight into those inner thighs. Keep the foot flexed right here. Up and lower, up and lower. And those one pounds, that, or I should say that one pound, really does do a lot. It's pretty crazy how much it can really uh, challenge you in this exercise. So now we're going to lift up, lower, and at the bottom you're gonna point and flex. Lift, lower, point and flex. Just a small change here, but this will help you activate the flexing of the foot, help you to understand the difference between the pointing and the flexing. Stretch out the arches a little bit as well. Ooh. Now we're gonna swing the leg front and then back to sides. So you're gonna swing, swing, and then little pulse twice. Swing front, swing side, little pulse right here. Okay, so now we're going to take both of the legs, take them just slightly at an angle here, lift the top leg and have the bottom one to come meet it, lower both down and squeeze and up. Make sure that you're not just taking your toes like this, okay? Make sure that the heels are actually touching, all right? Good. Okay, so we are going to repeat all those exercises again. On the right side, you can do it. We're just gonna lift and lower. Woo. And you can play around with your positioning here. If you feel like maybe it's a little bit easier upright, go ahead and try it. Sometimes, I'll be honest, sometimes I like it better on my elbows. Sometimes I like it better laying down. It just depends on the day, I think. So find what works for you. All right, we're gonna do up, down, point, flex. Just a couple seconds, let's go. Pulse twice. I know it's burning. It's burning for me as well. But this is where the change happens. Switch the conversation in your head to a positive one. Find a way to enjoy the burn. You're here. Oh, so you might as well enjoy it, right? All right, last one here on our right side and then we're gonna move to the left side. So remember, at a slight angle, both legs come to the top. Make sure that the heels come together. Feel those obliques working as well.
Okay, let's take a little breather here. <sighs> okay, let's take a little butterfly stretch before we go into the other side. Just stay here for a couple of seconds. Oh, this feels so good. And breathe. move on to the left side you know what we're gonna get into so put a smile on your face let's get the left leg forward and it feels all nice and fresh so let's go we're gonna just tap and lift tap and lift Okay, we're gonna tap forward and tap side. I know it's just starting to burn. Put a smile on your face. I promise it makes everything so much better. Little tap, it doesn't have to be super high. Little tap side, little tap front. the rainbow so take a nice big lift feels really good nice little stretch there as well bicycle at front oops and then up and bicycle at front So we're starting up at the top again. We're gonna start with those pulses. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go lift and lower. Ooh, for some reason the second time around on this is, wow. <laughs> no words. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo. If you're going, I'm proud of you because, oh my gosh, this is burning so much. All right, tap side, tap forward. Woo. Just to make sure if we didn't get enough in the first round, you're getting enough in the second round. big rainbows all the way up and around and bicycle it forward this one feels good and burns at the same time Let's 
Let's reverse that. Last outer thigh exercise. Woo, we are getting there. Every rep, getting closer and closer. Okay, other side. Now for our inner thighs. So make sure you're staying on the left side. Whew. Okay, we are three quarters of the way there. So go ahead and place the back foot down. And remember the other leg is gonna be nice and straight. And let's go. We're just gonna lift and lower nice and simple to start here. Just enjoy the views. Enjoy being present in your body. Truly the best gift to allow yourself to be fully present here. Feeling strong and confident in your body. Okay, now we're gonna add the point flex, lift lower. All right, so let's go. Point and flex, lift, lower, point, and flex. When you point your feet, I want you to think about engaging the quad right here. Notice how the kneecap lifts, and then flex, good. All right, we're gonna swing forward, Swing side, two pulses up. Okay, here we go. down if you are up and then remember to have the legs kind of like at a diagonal top leg comes up bottom leg comes to meet lower both down make sure that you're not cheating with the toes getting the heels to touch okay Okay, this is our last round right here, and let's go. So just lift and lower, enjoy the burn. The second time around, you already know what's happening, you already have your form down, so really focus on getting those muscles to work, get your mind right, stay positive in your thinking, and breathe. All right, point flex. You might notice that the quad starts to turn on as well. That's okay. The inner thigh, the quad, all those very much connected. And that does help to strengthen your hip flexors and all of these front muscles here, which is really good. All right, swing forward, swing side. It's definitely starting to burn. We've got our last two exercises here. You're doing amazing. Little pulse up and up. Lay it all the way down for our last exercise together. 
And here we go. Keep your form really strong. Really press and flex through the heels. Engage the core. Breathe and smile. Woo, you did it. Congratulations. Take a quick stretch here. Ah, oh, that feels so good. You can stay here for as long as you like until the tension goes away. I'm really proud of you, great job. And make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and I'll see you in the next video. Before you go, if you know that you're someone who's struggling to stay consistent in your workouts, and you know that this is keeping you from having the body and confidence that you deserve, you might be struggling with something called a lack of accountability, which is exactly why I created my Stretchy Fit app, to give you that structure and accountability so that you can succeed in your goals. Inside, you're gonna find customizable workout plans, a daily workout schedule, progress tracking, tools to keep you accountable, recipes, and the amazing Stretchy Babe community who are literally crushing their goals every single day. So if you're ready to upgrade yourself because you're worth it and you wanna give yourself the chance to succeed and take your fitness to the next level, then try my app absolutely risk-free for seven days. After that, it's just $9.99 a month. That's like the price of a smoothie and you are definitely worth that. So click the link below, join me now. I'll see you inside, bye.